funniest thing happened last night. So um, I'm sitting uh, on the couch and I'm just writing, you know, for Talking to Her Dreamy Lover. Um, I edit all the posts and just, I'm always just working on that site. It's my baby. It's my thing. Um, and I love it. I love doing it. So um, I'm sitting there and I have OKC up in one of the background windows. And this guy um, had sent me a message on OKC saying, um, you know, would you like to be my sex slave? And I was at first a bit taken, but also, too, just genuinely curious. Um, it's funny, when you run a business, guys assume that, sexually speaking, you are very, um, that's him, uh, guys assume that you're very um, dominant in the bedroom, and it's actually the exact opposite. That's how I am in work for work. I play in boys clubs all day, every day. I'm all about just working a hustle. But when it comes to my personal life, I really just want to let go. Um, I don't want to be in the lead. I'm naturally very, 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 very submissive. And um, so this guy messaged me and wanted, you know, to be sex slave. So I was incredibly naturally curious. Um, so I, I saw that he was online, and I immediately jumped on and, and started messaging him. And we went back and forth. And, um, you know, he was asking me questions like, so how long have you been serious about this? And, you know, I said for a few months now, as you guys might know on Talk Nerdy Me Lover, um, this guy had also messaged me um, wanting to be my sex master. Um, he wants to dominate me and, like, tie me up and stuff. Um, we've been going back and forth for a few months now, but his, um, he's taking care of his sick mother overseas. So I was just kind of like, wow, here's another guy. This is so cool. Um, I'm not really emotionally attached to anyone. I'm like, I just kind of want to be beat up. That could be kind of a fun thing. Um, with safe words and <laughs> everything in between. I'm like, that sounded so wrong, but it's so right. Um, so that just happened. Um, and then we started talking on IM. And then he called me. And he's like, I'm going to hypnotize you. Um, I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? He's like, yeah, like that's just part of how he segues you in. Um, it's, it's just through general hypnosis. Um, but unfortunately last night we had trivia on the site. We do a trivia night every Tuesday over at Goal. So I told him that I had to go host it. So I only had a couple of minutes. So he put me under, he got me very, very, very relaxed, like crazy relaxed. And, um, yeah, and everything was really cool. He kept texting me all throughout goal, um, had no problems with this, was super, like, turned on by just the thought and the entire experience. I was like, yes, I can finally be dominated. This is going to be so much fun. Totally all about it. Um, and then today, he started texting me again and was just asking me a series of stupid questions. He was like, so what's a hipster? And, and you know, why does people in my OkCupid profile have a mustache? He's like, why do people have mustaches on there? Like, what's the meaning? Um, and we go back and forth and back and forth. And then he, um, in one of his responses, he goes, you can't write about me. And I immediately text him back and said, this is done. I said, period, in a sentence. I said, I will not, I don't converse with anyone in life if I can't write about them. Um, I'm very fiercely protective of people's identities. I never reveal a photo. I never reveal a screen name. When guys go out on dates with me, I tell them, do not check in with me. Do not tweet about this date. Do not anything. I'm fiercely loyal to the fact that this is my life decision. I choose to broadcast my life, but not everyone else is like that. So please, like, just don't put it out there. And if it so happens that I'm telling the story and people can connect the dots, like, that's all on you. Like, I will always, always, always protect people's identities. So then he goes back and forth, and he keeps texting me, and he's like, well, you have no, he's still texting me, he's like, you have no right to use this, you have no right to use this, blah, 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 he's like, did you not read my disclaimer, and I was like, um, I have a disclaimer on my profile, you definitely just went and put one on yours, on my OKC profile, it says anything that you say may end up on the site, um, you know, just please basically be aware, and um, I was like, out of kindness, I won't post these text messages, but he kept going back and back and back, he's like, these are copyrighted lines, and back and back and back and back, and it literally, it's to the point now, I don't know what he's saying right now, um, it's to the point now that I literally didn't even want to write about this. Um, I can't even handle this guy right now. He's just basically going back and forth and back and forth. Um, 
it's driving me insane. And he's like, you can't, he's like, you can't um, use any of my anything. So I was just like, okay. I was like, I will make a video. You can't stop me from telling a story. This story is now mine. I'm sorry. Very matter of fact. This was my experience firsthand. I'm paraphrasing. I'm not quoting you. So nanny, nanny, poopy, I'm not going to be your sex slave. The sub just became the dom, and your shit just got fucking owned. Boom. But P.S., does anyone live in L.A. and want to dominate me? Because I still feel like that would be a super cool life experience. Contact me.